What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caleb uh, from uh, the Christian channel. <laughs> Welcome back guys to a brand new video here on my Christian channel. Now before we start up with this Christian video guys, if you enjoy this video, hit that like button down below guys. Well, it's a Veggie Tales review. Pretty much it's a Veggie Tales review, I forgot to tell you guys. Welcome to a Veggie Tale, another Veggie Tale with you here on the channel. If you guys do enjoy this video, hit that like button down below, guys. Let's try and get this video to five likes. If we can do that, that would be amazing. Also, if this is your first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. Help me get this channel to 300 subscribers. We just hit over 200 subscribers not so long ago. I just want to say thank you so much for helping me out, guys. That's amazing. So please, guys, if you guys could, guys, that would be amazing. What was I saying? I was saying that, yeah, help me get this channel to 300 subscribers. Also, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also, share this video with a friend and family. Guys, if VeggieTales was your childhood, you guys should... If this was, if your family are a huge fan of VeggieTales, and you guys are, and you guys are a Christian family that you guys watch VeggieTales, if you do, if you do have a family that loves VeggieTales, share this video with a friend in family. If your family loves VeggieTales, or your friends love VeggieTales, share this with a friend, share this with your friends and your family, and all this stuff. Also, make sure you guys go down below and go. Check out my description box, guys. I got a lot of things in my description box that I want you guys to check out. I do have a Christian... I do have a... I got two channels down there. My main channel and my gaming channel. Slash my secondary channel. My secondary channel. So... And also, guys. So, yeah. So, make sure you guys go down below and go check out those description down below. So, in our last picture tales with you, I reviewed uh, the wonderful world... Uh, the wonderful world of entertainment. Today, guys, we are going to be with you. We, I'm going to be with you in the next Veggie Tales episode, which is the Ballot of Little Joe. Here we go. So we start up across the counter scene, talking about a lot of things about, hey, hello. Hey, guys. I'm Bob to Tomato. Wait, hey, guys. Welcome to VeggieTales, I'm Bob the Tomato, and I'm Larry the Cucumber, and we're here to answer your questions, yep. So, today's Lego that we got from us today is from Pete. So, I got everything in this episode on this piece of paper. Everything, I got the, uh, the foot, I got the letter, and I got the Bible first. But I'm going to show you guys the Bible first at the end of the video, because every book, every VeggieTales episode that I have, I put down a Veggie Tales like Bible verse pro, pro episode. So yeah. So today our letter comes from us. It, the episode letter is from Pete McGrunz. McGrunz. Can't pronounce that. From Newcastle, Alabama, Indiana. He says, Dear Bob and Larry. Dear Bob and Larry. I'm depressed. All my friends are in Mrs. Peterson's class, but I got stuck in Mr. Struckboat's class. If God loved me, if God loves me, why do bad things happen? Your friend Pete. So this one here is about an episode about uh, whatever. I, I, I don't know what the lesson is in this episode, so I'll be right back. This episode is about... Uh, this episode is about... Facing hardship. So, so Larry has been talking about, oh, before I went somewhere, you said our next show, we're going to do it like a country. Like a cowboy. Like a country. Like a country show. Well, but I'm saying, oh, no, 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 no. We need to tell the kids about a Bible story, not a country story. So why right not they actually, they actually talked about it and they decided to go for a cut Christian country story or you can say christian cowboy story so yeah so it begins uh, so you guys know the bow of the the, the bow of the turn show 
Yeah, the boat of the show is a. It's like a country boy. It's like a country version of. Uh, yeah, it's like a country version of. Uh, the book of Genesis, the one of. Uh, is he Israel's son, Jacob's son, Joseph? So it's that sort of because the we start up with of course a wilderness and like the desert around the desert area around the desert. Well, of course they sell cow. They had cowboy brothers, which is cowboy bridge brothers. It's bridge cowboy brothers, and if they talk about that, there was eleven brothers. There's like, there was of course uh ten brothers. There's ten brothers plus Joseph. That's eleven. And Benjamin is the twelfth brother. If you guys remember the book of Genesis. We have, of course, like, you guys remember how the book of Genesis. If you have seen the book of Genesis, the whole town book, you guys pretty much know how this episode goes. Uh, it, began, it was Joe's birthday. It was Joseph's birthday, a.k.a. Joe. Joe. It was Joe's birthday. And he got a colorful shirt. A colorful sweater, or whatever. Like a colorful sweater or something like that. Uh, they actually did have that. They actually did have that. Uh, and of course, the other brothers was Joe's. Uh, that Joe is his favorite one. Joe is his favorite. And all this stuff. So, yeah. So, also, Joe has been. Uh, I mean, also, Joe. Uh, Joseph. Uh, if you guys don't remember how Joseph worked. Uh, Joseph, he dreamed about everybody by bowing down to him. Everybody who's bowing down to him and whatever. That's not how that's not how things work so around here. Because you don't ask them to bow down to you. They don't ask you. You only got you always bow down to the only Lord our God. That's what we do. And that's what we do. And yeah. So what actually happened? Joseph's brothers, Joe's brothers, they brought him down to the pit and they put the and they put and then they kill a lamb and then they put Joseph's Joe Joe's quilt on the lamb's blood to make it like a human blood and yeah so yeah well of course if you guys don't know what else happens the brother showed Joseph to Egypt I was like what? I was like, whatever. And they did that. And then, like, years later, why right, they do that? Years later, he has been uh, in Egypt. They have been, he has been working on a lot of other stuff. He was working at a pizza place, a pizza palace. Now, none of this was in the Bible. Pizza was invented back then. But of course, they have, of course, pizza. They have, of course, they have pizza, would be a popcorn, video games, arcade, and. A show, they do all that, and of course, uh, uh, because Larry, Larry is Joe, well, of course, you have, because, uh, Scudo, as, like, the head, uh, the head chef, like, the head, uh, radio, like, the head uh, of the place, uh, and of course, you have, of course, uh, Joe, Joe was his, uh, Joe, he was uh, his psychic. It was like his apprentice. Uh, it's like his apprentice. Uh, like his apprentice. And it's like his apprentice. And that's how things work in this episode. And yeah. But guess what will happen? Yeah, because that lady, the wife of... Uh, the wife of... Where the Scooter's character is... Bad Blueberry is playing the character, which is the wife of the guy that is played by Scooter. So, so what, I, what I am actually trying to say is, uh, the waiter is the husband, while the Sido, right side, the Sido, which the character that Bad Blueberry is playing, is like the character... Uh, you guys know what I just said. You guys know what I just said, like, a, a few seconds ago. But, you guys know, the Scooter and Madden Blueberry's character are married. 
their character, but not in real life, like, but their character of merit. So what actually happened uh, is, of course, uh, uh, Mr. Papadopo, I, I don't remember his name, uh, I don't remember what he said, made it into a portrait, but of course the, by the blue, by the, by the, like, Miss Kitty, like, Miss, like, Miss Kitty, uh, that's her character's name, Miss Kitty, she asked, hey, take, hey, take, take the money, get out of here. Why did she, he, it's just, of course, I'm just going to say, Joe doesn't want to be evil. He doesn't want to do anything evil. He doesn't want to sin. He doesn't want to, want to do all that. So that's why he just wants to be a helper. He just wants to help people out. He just wants to help people out. But guess what else happens? Miss Kitty put a ginormous good coins on top of his heart. And guess what? Everybody believed him. Everybody believes of Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty was doing the wrong thing. So that's why Joe has to go to the prison. He has to go to prison. He has to go to jail. And of course, afterwards, while he's in jail, he does a new series song, which is Billy Button, which is one of my favorite series songs ever. I love that. I love that so much. Said said by the main character, Mr. Lutt. Which, if you guys don't know, guys, Mr. Lutt, Mr. Lutt will always be my favorite Fetcher Tales character ever. I will always love Mr. Lutt. So, yeah. Let's see if I can get that a bit more better. Okay, there we go. But, yeah. But, of course, guys, like I said before, guys, I, after that, they have chill. There's, of course, the chill. They have, of course, the whole town chill fitty. There's the whole town chill fitty. Everybody see them while Larry, uh, Joe's character must be like, Hey, I love God, and do all of that. And, yeah, that's actually what happened. And, yeah. And in the middle of the night, uh, the baker and the, uh, the baker and the butcher. Yeah, the baker and the butcher. The baker and the butcher have been having this, these nightmares. Now, if you guys don't know, Joe's not the only one that controls the head, the mind. It's God that, that controls your mind, which controls your dreams to have nightmares. To not have nightmares. That's actually what happened. So, yeah. And afterwards, uh, afterwards, what actually happened is, of course, uh, uh, what actually kind of like happened is, of course, the baker, like, it was night. Uh, the baker was going back to his child. Well, of course, the butcher is going to die. He's going down the, the, down the river. This kind of seems familiar, huh? <laughs> if you see more the big exit, which I'm not going to be with, I'm not going to be with, I'm not going to be with you that way. Anytime now, like there's a lot more, like there's a lot going on. Which I'm probably going to review with that one probably sometime next month in February. I don't really know. Yeah. But of course what I'm trying to say is, of course, uh, they got uh, a prisoner and a uh, Sure, Bob said, how do you do that? And Joe said, that's just how, that just made, uh, God made you special. And then Sure, Bob said, and I know, and he loves you very much, I heard. Uh, maybe the show already has much fetching tales. He probably already knows, because it's played by Bob. So, yeah. Afterwards, next morning, uh, you got the mail, who's up having some bad dreams, about the seven uh, small cows. Got aided by the 27 big cows. Uh, so, yeah, to talk about a moment, to uh, talk about uh, give food pre prepare for the big wind, for the big uh, wind, and the big uh, bitty so happiness. So, yeah, so what actually did happen afterwards is, of course, uh, uh, what actually kind of did happen is, of course, uh, uh, this was years later, this was like years later. Uh, Benjamin is grown up, but he's not only grown up, he's like four to five years, he's like seven years old. Well, of course, they had to go through, they had to go through and go get all the food, they had to go through getting food, they had to get food from the, like, from Egypt, then they go all the way to Egypt to find food. That's what they had to happen, actually happen. 
Well, because while the whole town view, you know, this like what this happened like one year later, they stock up a whole town farming of food to keep it perfect. Because why? They keep on giving us food because why? We are we are getting fans prepared for people to come back. So that's actually what happened. They shot up a they shot up a whole town tower filled with food on top. So that's what my actual comic kind of happened. And then of course, Joe's brothers. Uh, they walked down, they, they was, they was walking down, they was walking down to Egypt while they saw this cowboy person and say, Hey guys, what do you want? Ah, we are here to get the video. Like he said, how many are you? He said, uh, and also he said, uh, I love it of you. He said, I love it of you. He's like, he said like, I love it of you. He was like, uh, like, I love it of us. It's just a love of us. He also said one of them got uh, down to the Gulf of Oxygen. That was years ago. That was the part where they thrown Joe in the pit and they killed a they killed a, they killed a lamb and just put the coat on it. So yeah, and then they told their father that uh, he's dead. Joe dead. Joe died. So. But they went to Egypt, they went all over to Egypt, got food and all stuff. But guess what actually happened? There was coins in the pizza that they did have. Benjamin did have pizza, which guess what? They sent Benjamin to jail while all the peas is going on. And what actually happened is of course uh that actually happened is of course uh, Larry Joe would feel his they say, little Joe, little Joe came back, and of course, people was like, oh, little Joe, little Joe. It actually happened, so that's why, so that's why little Joe prayed to Judah about, uh, prayed to Judah and all the other brothers uh, about uh, God has a plan for them, and that that's what they have. And guess what? Jacob, aka Israel, he pops up. Israel, he popped up, and then uh, he saw his son again, and that's how it's happening. And then, if I remember in the Bible, they stayed in Egypt for quite a while before Israel and Joseph died. They died, I think they died, I think they got dead, the same place of where Abraham and Isaac got buried. I think they buried... Uh, Israel and Joseph right there. And yeah. That's actually what actually happened. So yeah. And afterwards. That's it for the episode. That pretty much ends the episode. Everybody's happy. And that's how the episode ends. So yeah. So we have the What Have We so Learned song. Which is a cowboy version of the song. Which is awesome. I really like that one so much. So yeah. So to talk about what the. Uh, how in the. Uh, Like facing the hardship is. It's about oh, people make fun of like people doesn't like when we love you. You don't really want. They don't want to do the things you want to do. That's what the facing hardship is. Don't know too much about that word anyway, but this episode really means a lot. So yeah. So let's talk about our Bible first in today's episode that you see on the screen right now. But yeah. So. The fitting comes to us. So the Bible verse we are going to be saying today in this video is from one. It comes to us from Romans chapter eight, verse twenty-eight, and we know that God causes causes all things to work together for good to those who love God. Where is this thing work words like for the letter, the, the letter Peter? He wish he was in uh, Peterson's, Miss Peterson's class because his friends uh, was there. But he went, he went to a different class. And of course, this is very interesting. He says a lot of things. But what God wants you to do is God wants you to follow his side. God will be beside you all the time. And all you need to do is to love him. All you need to do is to love God. Remember that God loves you. And remember who God is. Love you so, yeah. I would have said, yeah.
apologize for what was I saying, guys? What was I saying? Uh, I was saying that, uh, yeah, guys, I would, yeah, stay tuned, guys, because the next, so yeah, I just gonna say the bottom of the joke is a fantastic episode. I love that one. I give that one a, I give that one a 9 out of 10. I love Bow of the Joe. It's amazing. I love it so much. Stay tuned, guys, because the next one would be an Easter Carol, which I think I should review that one around Easter time, should I? Where's the next episode under this? So, why not? I'm gonna be reviewing, I'm gonna be reviewing that one on the tip, but on January 10th anyway, so yeah. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, hit that like button down below. Let's try and get this video to five likes. If you could do that, that would be amazing. Also, if this is your first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to, yeah guys, help me out. Help me get this channel to three, help me get this channel to 300 subscribers by the end of January. That would be amazing. That would really help my channel a lot. So yeah. Also, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also, guys, share this video with your friends and the family. Yeah. And make sure you guys go down below and go check out my description box, guys. Let's talk about my two other channels, which is down there in the description down below. Let's talk about my main channel first. I need you guys to help. I need you guys to help me get my main channel to 2,000 subscribers. I want to try and hit that around April to May-ish, around that time. So if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. 2,000 subscribers. Also, make sure you go down, make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my Christian channel, guys. I need you guys to help on that channel. Try to get that, I'm trying to get that channel to 100 subscribers by the end of January. That would be amazing. That channel, my secondary channel already has 57, 57 subscribers right now. And that would be amazing if you guys can help me out. That would be amazing. So yeah. My main channel and my secondary channel will be down below in the description down below. And stay tuned because the next one will be an Easter Carol. Don't forget to go down below, click that subscribe button down below to join the Bible Army slash the Christian Army slash the, the Christian Army. Join the Christian Army and the Bible Army. Join that, guys. And stick around. And stick around. Go check out more of my other videos. And I will see my VeggieTale fans next time. Peace.